good morning from Florida. I just arrived last night at 12 p.m. My hair already is like afro. I can't do anything with it, so ponytail it is. Um, and in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. I am ordered room service and I'm gonna go search um, go to the store and try to find some snacks for the hotel and just some survival stuff while I'm here but it's January 14th and I'm in shorts this feels amazing and I'm at the ocean which feels also amazing um, I've always wanted to do that I've always wanted to take off in the winter time and um, go somewhere tropical and somewhere hot and go from the snow. I literally went from the snow to two flights. I went to Atlanta, or went to Salt Lake City, and then I went to Atlanta, and then to Daytona, and I got here at 12 p.m., and to the heat, and it's so beautiful. The ocean is gorgeous. The internet's not so great here uh, so far, but the hotel's beautiful. Let me show you the hotel. This is a little... Um, sitting area right here, a desk area. This is a little TV area. TV area. And then this is the master bed. And then there's a little bathroom and stuff on the, over on that side. Um, got some carpet. It's got a little sitting area over here. That's where I was recording. This little area right here is really comfortable. And then the little patio area out here. There's a tower hotel like thing. Here's a little sitting balcony area. And now on this side, this side you can see a bunch of houses and there's a great big lake over there. So you've got water. I got water on both sides. This hotel is really bougie. Look at that. And it's just, there's a little uh, highway or area over here. And then over here is the ocean. I'm on the top, top floor, on the 10th floor. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay. Bye for now. Okay, this is my first morning here. I ordered crab, eggs benedict, and hash browns. And mimosa. And coffee. Got a bottle of champagne. Got water. I've got the ocean. I'm sitting out here eating. Delicious. Coffee water in paradise in January 14th day two just got here last night so this is day two ordering room service I had to start it out right look at how gorgeous the food is gourmet deliciousness I found a chair <laughs> I'm testing it out I'm at the grocery store and nobody will talk to you here it's like zombies I, have, I look up at them right in their eyes and they won't talk to me. It's weird. It's crazy. This is where I'm getting my massage today. Underneath here. Outside and the view is the pool. Hi! And the ocean. Yeah. Hot 50 minute massage. This is where I'm getting my massage today. Underneath here. Outside and the view is the pool, hi, and the ocean. Yeah, hot, 50 minute massage. The great thing about Florida is that you can just walk everywhere on the beach. So I'm literally walking on the beach. It goes forever. And it's beautiful here. It's on Atlantic Avenue. And this is the only beach that you can drive drive 
everywhere they can drive on the beach. Isn't that cool? So I am walking myself to the crab shack. And this is important to have like a travel bag that's waterproof. I got my shoes in there, my wallet, my everything I need. And then it just goes over my shoulder. Lightweight, waterproof. And I got my shorts and bare feet. There's the bicyclers. There's everything here. It's so, so beautiful. I just literally took a shower. I came out here because I'm craving crab and I found out there's a crab shop on the piers. And so I'm gonna see if I can find it. I don't know how far, you know that illusion of it looks closer than it is. I may have to Uber it back, but at least I'm going to try to get there. Um, but look at how gorgeous it is. So Florida Daytona Beach, staying at the Shores Spa and Resort, is, is amazing. I had a massage on the, by the pool yesterday. You can literally come down here and walk every day and just this one's Hawaii Inn, wow. Hawaii Inn. Places along the shore. You feel safe. I've never once felt scared here. People sometimes just say to themselves they're not that friendly, but but they at least say to themselves. And so it's been pretty pretty so January is a great like, time to go to Florida, in my opinion, because it doesn't have the high humidity. The weather's like seventy eight degrees. And so it's absolutely gorgeous, a great time to come. So I would highly encourage you to come to Florida in January because it's absolutely beautiful. So once I get to the crab shack or whatever it's called, I'll video that. So wish me luck on finding it and walking with bare feet on the ocean. Florida. I've literally been walking for hours to try to get to this famous crab shack that is on the ocean and from my hotel it's been hours <laughs> it feels like oh my god if I would not have this water to save my life I would die it's like 80 now I feel like it's getting hotter it keeps going in and out of the sun birdies. Gorgeous though, right? Okay. I'm so blessed to be able to be here in Florida in January. Let me just try to get you in. Look at that. I'm trying to get there to this famous crab shack that's on the ocean. It's supposed to have a bigger variety and it's supposed to be fabulous. So I'll let you know when I get in there, I'll, I'll film what I'm eating. Tell you a review on it. They've got the throw, a tr throw up Tron. I guess that's supposed to make you throw up. The, the... So maybe I'll try that after I eat.
my hotel in Daytona Beach. Good life, Florida. My hotel. That's where I had my massage. Oh, well, now it's time to swim. The ocean's just right there. That's so nice. It's my gym for the week. TV. I just rode this uh, elliptical for an hour and then I did some weight training. <sighs> Pretty nice. I got it all to myself. It's really windy out there today so I decided to take the gym workout in here. It's working out perfect. My shirt says, cardio is cheaper than therapy. Get your folks, okay? No problem. All right, you ready for Okay, me? ready. Here we go. You guys need to do your friends? Oh, yeah. Here we go. The omelet station at the right, the resort. Chef Lou with double trouble. Uh, almost, almost. Here we go. Works half the time. Perfect. <laughs> Two omelets at once. All right, we got one with cheddar. Beautiful. One with American. Okay, that one's yours, yeah. Beautiful resort. It's my last day. Having an omelet, veggie omelet, and then I'm off to the airport. We're doing an omelet? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let me have your ingredients first, followed by your Cheshire cheese. This one's mine, the veggie omelet. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just all the vegetables and some white cheese. Right. It's called chain of custody. I can get in trouble for that. You said cheddar, right? Yes. Can I do one as well? Okay. Yes. Gotta get everybody on the front here. I got uh, four pans and two hands. You can tell there's no unions in the state of Florida, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, big guy, go ahead. Uh, bacon. Bacon, go. Onions. Onions, go. Now you see what I'm doing, right? I'm watching, yeah. Yep. Okay, here's, here's, I'll teach you a little something. Okay, something about teach, me the, teach me the tricks. What happens is that most people don't cook their ingredients. Now, you want to think about it. Onions, peppers, garlic, all of that costs a lot of money. Right. Produce, especially. Why would you not get the most out of the food? Right, so cook that first. Cook it first for at least two minutes. Okay. Once you actually hear that sizzling sound, that sizzling tells us both that the pan is about 145, 165 degrees. Okay. It's at that temperature that it releases all the natural oils and juices. Okay. 
Why would you not get the most out of the appliance? Exactly. That's what you need so to do. So do that before yeah. you put the eggs in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. And I wouldn't tell anybody any different, and I'll be honest with you. I've been here close enough to eight years. Go ahead on TripAdvisor, if you don't mind, leave a comment for us. I got about 14 pages worth of comments on my own, okay. but they're famous on that. Okay. Chef Lou. Chef Lou. Okay. <laughs> I promise you, there's at least 14 pages of comments. Okay, perfect. I'll do it. And there we are. Thank you so much. The perfect on. Live from Daytona Beach, Florida. This is a morning in Florida. Sunday, January 19th. And you can see how beautiful it is. Palm trees. And this beach that you can drive on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm mourning the loss of it already. I'm getting ready to go to the Daytona airport and I don't want to leave. Here's the hotel I stayed at. It was on the 10th floor. And that big tall building right there, the white one is a condominium. And then most of these along the here are condominiums bird came to say goodbye this is the pool I swam at had a massage over there in that blue and white um, cover-up area just so so beautiful so beautiful the shores at Daytona Beach the resort. It's called the Shores Resort and Spa in Daytona Beach. If you get an opportunity, go go check it out. If you get an opportunity, go check it out in January or whenever. I always thought it would be so great to travel from snow to beach. And I finally reached that goal and came here and I tell you what, this only inspires me to do more traveling and to explore more of the world and to meet the most amazing people while I travel. I met some people from all over the world this trip and it's been really inspiring. And look at these palm trees. I have to video these palm trees because I just want to take them with me. The sound of the ocean. The wind blowing the palm trees. The beds by the pool. absolutely glorious so bye bye Daytona and yes I will be back Florida stay tuned where I go next okay everybody so I'm at the Daytona Beach Airport vacation is all the way done everybody was asking who was taking the pictures there on the beach and never before have I ever taken this person, but I decided to take her to do the photography. That's my sister. <laughs> She's it's screaming me. in the airport. Yeah, everybody's staring at us. Oh well, I don't care. Yep. So she did the it's photography. Me. We've had an amazing time, guys. There I am. Your arms noise. Oh sorry. Yeah. So we had a great time. My survival on the way home is Bailey's and coffee. Mine Daytona Beach. is Coca-Cola. No, it's not a sponsorship. So I did this half shirt, Daytona Beach. I had to put something over it because it shows way too much. But Daytona Beach, Florida was where we were for six days on the ocean. Time. It was it's amazing. Such a great time. Had a great time. Oh, so Relaxed, drank, <clears throat> Took lots swam. of pictures. Hope they turned out. If they didn't, I don't care. I was on vacation too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you the pictures here when I get back in town. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. There's a lot of them. Bye guys. And she was pretty embarrassed because it was her first time seeing her sister. 
get naked on yeah, the beach. I have to tell you, but she it was, was mortified. Worth the trip. It was so worth the trip. <clears throat> so worth it. And we met so many cool people. And what I mean by make naked is uh, bikinis on the beach. So, but it's not a nude beach. So it was challenging having to change by the beach and have everybody walk. And it was the beach that everybody drives on. So it's like kind of embarrassing, but hey, I hope they turned out. I will get them posted here soon when I get home. So. So bye. bye. We're getting ready to travel home. Bye, guys. We have guys. three planes to catch to yeah. get home. So cheers. Cheers. Till the next video. Subscribe, comment, and like.